Good morning, coding friends. It looks like we are about to get started on Space Ace again. So let me show you real quick. Um, I'm going to go to My Stuff. So if you sign in and go to My Stuff, you will see all of your programs you've been working on. And right here is Space Ace. So I'm just going to click on See Inside. And with that, it's going to take us into our project. So if you've saved it and closed out, this is where it takes us. Now we're back in. So if you remember last, I'll go ahead and hit the flag. We had our little title screen here, Space Ace. We've got our little countdown for our ship. And then we have our blast off where it's traveling to space. So there it goes on up. And now it's in that little cycle where we can start to move it. So now we got to get our enemy in here or our object we're going to dodge, our nemesis. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. I mean, we don't have to, but I'm going to, going to do it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go and choose a sprite. And we want to find something that kind of looks like something that deals with space. And when I look through here, Feel free to look through all the images they have. You can kind of make anything work if you think about it and change it a little bit, but we've got these robots here. And this one here is the one that I want to use, okay? Kind of looks like a ship. Um, so I'm gonna use this as an enemy ship. And we get him on the screen. I'm gonna move him up a little bit. He's way too big, right? There's our little ship, there's that ship. I could leave him that big. But in this case, I'm going to change my size, and I think I want to go about 30, okay? Yeah, I like 30. That's pretty good. All right, so there that is. Our ship, our nemesis. Now, I need to get it to start moving, and I want it to start from the top of the screen, and it's just going to fall down, okay? So we're going to make this kind of just the same thing as what we had with... Our last game, which was the side scroller, the hippo, flying hippo, where we just had something coming at us from the side. This time something's just going to come at us from the from the top of the screen, and we're going to dodge left and right before we were dodging up and down, right? So here we go. Now we could do on the green flag, but I really don't want that to happen because I don't want this guy to pop in until we get in the space. And to do that, we have the one that says when backdrop switches. And we're going to go to when backdrop switches to stars. Now stars is this background right here. So when that starts, we want it to start working, right? We want him to start coming down at us. Well, before I do that, I've got to get him situated to where he's at the point he is now. So I'm going to go to motion. And we need to go to this point right here where he's at. He's at negative 37 and Y of 181. And we'll see, that should work. The screen goes up to 200, but sometimes when you go too close to that 200 point, stuff doesn't actually move. So we want him to go there. And then we're gonna do a forever. Because we just want him to continually falling down, right? So. When the backdrop switches to stars, he's going to go there. Excuse me. And then he's going to move down. And that's on the y-axis. So we're going to just move. Change y by. Now that one's 10. And we actually want to start going down. And that is actually a negative in Scratch. So I'm... I'm going to go down by a negative eight. I'm going to hit flag. Unfortunately, we got to go through all of this cut scene and everything to test this. Here he goes. We're up here in space. And there he goes. Yeah, he moved. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So I'm going to hit stop. Now, we got to make him reset. Once he gets to the bottom, we want him to go back to the top, right? 
So, and you can see he's at negative 193. We're going to keep that for a second. We're going to keep that in our minds. In fact, I can just drag it out here and set it there so we can see where he's at right now. So, we need if, okay, we need an if. If he gets to the bottom, we want him to go back to the top. So, we need that control, that if control. If he gets to the bottom, we want him to go back to the top. So, we need math, which is operations. And we want if he gets less than this. So we need our less than sign. You can see we got greater. We got less than right here or equal to. We could even use an equal to. If he gets equal to that point, then we want him to go back up. But sometimes the equal sign, we can mess up if this 8 doesn't, you know, equal this 193 exactly, we could end up missing it. So a lot of times you got to be sure that the math is right when we're using that equal sign. Like if I was moving eight steps and was only going to check for three, I would miss it because my ship would go past that point and that would never become true. So when this becomes true, then my ship's going to go back up. And what we want is if my Y position, okay, so if the Y position of the ship, and that's right here, if its Y position is less than, and I'm going to go 192, a negative 192, and see what happens, okay? Because right now we're at 193. If it might not go to 194. In fact, it probably wouldn't go to a negative 194 because it stopped at a negative 193. So I'm going to go one less than that. So I'm done with that now. So it says if my Y position is right down here at this negative 192, then I want it to go back up to the top. So then set my Y, right? Because we want to go back to the top. But we're going to do the one that sets the X and the Y. So we're going to grab this. Set my Y back up here to the top. And I can see that it was 181. So we'll do 181. Now, I might play with that and get it in that 190. I don't know. We'll have to see. But now my X, I don't want it always to go to the same spot. That would get pretty boring as a game if it always came. I'd just move over the side and I'd never have to worry about hitting it, right? So we're going to go back into operations. And we're going to get this pick random. So there's pick random. Now I want to show you guys something real quick. We're going to go back up to motion. If I grab this little guy and I come over here, you can see that my X is now negative 230. <laughs> Excuse me. I can go a little bit more. Negative 242, right? And I can come all the way over here to a positive. I can get a little more even. We don't want to go all the way off the screen, but you can see there's a positive 242. So 242, I can kind of see it on the side there. If I go all the way to 250, he'll be off the screen. So let's try. We're going to do a negative 240 and a positive 240. So that gives us both sides of the screen. Now we're going to hit run and see what happens. We've got our little scene going, our countdown. Now this kind of gets a little bit um, irritating when we're waiting, right? We've got to wait 10 seconds for this thing to finally drop. Oh, something's not right. We're hitting somewhere. I need to look at my code because notice he's not dropping all the way down. So, oh look. Here's this. Change Y by negative 8. If my Y position is less than negative 240, oh no. So here's where I messed up. I put 
go to, right, <laughs> negative 37, 180. Well, craziness on my part. I don't want that in there. I want to go to the top of the screen. And I want to go to uh, this one. I want to go to a random number, right? So right now I got my random number up in here. And it should be here. Now everything's working. Notice that's flying and he is moving. See how he's going back and forth. I got to do some dodging. So that I'm pretty happy with now. He should be able to go clean across the screen. And if we wait long enough, he should end up going all the way. Yeah, there he goes. He's going. Oh, so, yeah, he's using that random number. Good. We're doing good so far. So here's something that we could do to speed up this. So we don't have to watch the entire cut screen. Now, it's not going to quite work perfect because there's other things that happen. But if I were to do event and I were to do when key is pushed. Now, this would be something I want. That's kind of a crazy key. Nobody would ever push. I'm just going to choose the Q key. So if you were to push the Q key, I want to go straight to my background of stars. Now watch this. I hit start. We've got all this. Oh no, we got to hide this guy at the beginning. I push space or I push Q and we're already in here. Notice it's blasting off. I can't move. I guess I can move. But he's going to blast off and, and go through that section. But I can still see what's going on. So kind of like a cheat, a way to, to get into your game quicker. If we leave this in here, it I don't know if you'd call it a bug because our game functions okay. But you could call it an Easter egg. You know, it's one of those where if you do a certain key combination, you can kind of skip or cheat. So we put in a little cheat in our game to get to the game quicker, but it allows me to debug quicker also. All right, so I'm gonna stop this. Remember this little guy was showing up. So we wanna hide him. So we're gonna go down into looks and down here, we've got show and we've got hide. So at the beginning of the game, when we go to the background, I want him to show. But here's the thing, I'm going to go onto my rocket ship and when, oh, where's my, yeah, here we go. When flag is clicked, I want this guy to hide, okay? So we're going to do that same type of code on him. So event flag, we want him to hide. So now instead of him being over here where we could see him, we push and notice he's gone. Okay. And we'll let it count down because that's what I want to make sure is I want to make sure I don't see my little enemy ship and he's not there. We can blast off and now he starts coming straight for us. Now I'm pretty happy but I don't like the look of my robot right now. So if I look at my costumes, I prefer this here. I don't want my nemesis to have this face on it. I want it to look more like a ship. Okay, so I'm going to turn it to this back view, which is robot D. So we're going to go back to code. And when it comes here, we're going to go not next costume because that would make him start flipping through costumes. I want to always go to this costume. Now you can see that it's just the back side of him. And the next thing I want him to do is I want him to be that point. I want the point to come forward or to be moving down, right? Like that point's going to stab my ship or dent my ship because it looks like he's trying to fly up and not down. So we're going to go and we're going to go to motion and we're going to do a rotate. And there's rotate. So up here, 
We're going to switch to our costume. We're going to rotate. And I ought to do this before we even get started with seeing it because I don't want people to see them turn. I mean, I could make that part of the kind of an animation where that ship turns and points and heads straight for us, but we're not going to do that at this time. So I can change this and I can use this little arrow to change. Stop play. We're going to hit the Q button. Now he's kind of sideways. We don't want sideways. So if I go over here to negative 90, we're going to see what happens. We're blasting off. So we're about to be there anyway. And now he's pointing down and coming straight down. I like that. And we're going to start dodging, right? There we go. Dodging. Perfect. So now I'm pretty happy with this. I think we're going to end here for level two. And are we on level three already? Holy cow. No, this is level two of Space Ace. We're going to have three levels because then we're going to come back. We're going to work on how to make this ship speed up. We're going to work on how to uh, score and put in some of those variables. So I hope everybody had a great time. Happy coding and see you another day.